So good morning and welcome to Chair Yoga. Today we're going to have a heart opening practice, which will be a nice lead into our gratitude uh, meditation that we're going to be doing after the class. So I invite you to think about opening the physical body around the heart space. I mean, we have we have the rib cage. If you notice, there's a lot of flexibility in the neck area and the lower back area, but around the midsection of the body, it's pretty rigid. And that's for a very good reason. When you think about all the important organs that are within this part of the body, the heart, the lungs, the liver, we need to keep that protected. So the body builds a skeletal cage around it. Um, so in answer to uh, Lillian's question, if you go on the Newark website, you will see uh, one is tomorrow and one is Thursday for the events coming up. Anyway, so in order to keep that area safe, we keep that area a lot more rigid than the neck and the lower back. So know when you're working with the body to be very gentle with that. Also, the heart area is where we keep love, joy, compassion, and also in the back is where we store grief and sadness and loss. So if you've ever had a time in your life where you feel so sad or so upset that it's difficult to breathe, it's a very good reason for that because that's where it's stored. So let's begin our practice. I'll go to my chair. Just raise your hand if you can hear me. Thank you very much. So taking your seat, allowing yourself to settle into the moment, becoming present to your body and your breath so you can fully engage in the practice, allowing your eyes to close if that feels safe and comfortable, or just gently looking towards the floor. Feel yourself seated on the chair and feel your whole body from the soles of your feet all the way up to the crown of your head. Tuning into the breath. And just becoming aware of how the breath wants to show up in this moment. allowing that breath to get a little bit deeper so that it begins down in your belly, nice soft open belly and moves up through the chest, all the way to the shoulders and exhaling from the top down, shoulders, chest, give your belly a little squeeze back towards the spine at the end of the exhale. And if your thoughts should begin to pull you away from the moment, just gently come back to the breath. Letting the body soften and settle a little more with each exhale. Let's take two more complete breaths here. And then the next time you exhale, release that technique and just allow your natural breath to come back. Taking a moment to notice how you feel. We'll close our centering by bringing hands to prayer position in front of our hearts and joining our voices in an OM. Deep breath in. Oh. 
Om Shanti, peace. So as you breathe in now, keeping your palms together, allow your hands to lift up. And then as you exhale, sweep the arms around, bringing the hands back to heart center. Breathing in, lifting the fingertips. Exhale, arms sweep around. Inhaling, lifting. Exhale, sweeping. Couple more times, lift up those fingertips. Exhale, sweep the arms around. Last time, deep breath in, exhale, sweep them around. And pause at the heart. Good. Drawing your elbows out to the side. Good, and then inhale, curl in. Inhale, open the elbows out. Exhale, bring them forward, round your spine, tuck your chin. Breathing in and out. A couple more times. Inhale, open wide. Exhale, let it go. Once more. Wide open chest. Exhale, closing up. Good. And release. So let's lift up the left arm, reach it up towards the sky, and exhale. Place that palm between your shoulder blades and cradle the elbow with your right palm. Sitting up nice and tall, feel your feet on the floor and breathe. Good, so <clears throat> holding the elbow extended, Take a breath in and gently rotate to the right. Bring it back to center and to the left. Let's do that a couple more times from side to side. Gently rotating. It's probably gonna be a pretty small movement. Make sure you're still breathing. We're opening the heart. Bring it back release the arms and take a breath. So reaching up with your right arm, stretch it up nice and tall, exhale, bend that elbow, cradle it with your left palm. Elbows back, shoulders back, heart wide open. Good, and let's rotate from side to side. So it's the inhale is bringing you back to the center. And when you rotate, you exhale. Once more from side to side here. Open the arms wide and let them float down and maybe just circle the shoulders a little bit. So let's breathe that left arm up again and begin to sweep it from side to side. Want to open up all those little muscles between the ribs, the intercostals. So try to keep your sit bones on the chair if you can. And let's reach over and hold here. You can release your right arm down towards the floor. and even add a little forward and back rocking movement here. That's just an option. Good. Reach a little further and then let's release that and go to the other side. Right arm stretches up and let's sweep. So exhaling as you draw the arm across, inhaling as you bring it down. Nice and slow. And if you're going a little faster or a little slower than I am, that's perfectly fine. 
this is your practice. I always remind you, your practice is different than everybody else's. So let's sweep it across and pause. I'm gonna drop the left hand down towards the floor. And again, if you like, add that little forward and back rocking motion. You might notice an extra spot that feels tight or tense. And this will help it release. Good, reach up one more time and then gently release the arm. And let's circle the shoulders again, one way and the other way. Good. So we'll do some um, seated moon salutations and sun salutations. So beginning with the hands at heart center, let's sweep the arms up for our moon salute. So you can bring your palms together and extend your index fingers, or if your shoulders are tight, just separate the arms slightly so the shoulders can ease down your back. Good, breathe in, lengthen and arch over to the right. Keep both arms nice and long, sit bones on the chair. Breathe it up to center, extend and reach over to the left. Good, reach up. We're gonna do our back bend now. So if this position does not work for you, you can hold your arms out to the side or actually place your palms on either side of your lower back. So here we go. Breathe in, lengthen, reach it back. Breathe. Breathe it back to center. Now our forward fold, arms say extended, folding at the hip crease, coming all the way down. Just for a moment, let your arms relax. Let your neck and shoulders relax. Hmm. Let's re-engage the arms. So they're framing the head. You can feel the core muscles working as you lift up. Good, and arch to the left. Coming back through center, arch to the right. Good, back through center and back to your heart space. Take a couple of breaths and we'll move into the sun salutations. Good, inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, reach it back. Breathing back to mountain. Now open your arms, fold forward, let the breath go. <sighs> Palms to the knees as you come up part way, exhaling and folding. Inhaling arms, sweep up, gather in the breath, gather in energy, exhale, reach back. Breathing into mountain and back to the heart. How about one more of those, inhale. Exhale, reach it back. Inhaling back to center, folding forward, letting the breath go. Come up halfway, nice deep breath. Exhaling and folding. Inhaling the arms, sweep up and reach it back. Take your breath in and let it go back to your heart. So let's extend the arms out to the side. I'm gonna turn my palms forward. So if your arms should get tired, if they should become uncomfortable as we're doing this movement, feel free just to relax. So what we're gonna do is imagine that we're pushing water forward and then swimming back, but the arms are going to stay level with the shoulders. This is very strengthening, good. So let's push the water forward. Good. Turn the palms back and push it back. Turn the palms forward, push it forward. So I'm rounding my spine a little bit as I do this and then bringing my chest forward, 
as I push the hands back. Push it forward and swing it back. Let's do a couple more. Push it forward. Bring it back. Last time, push it forward. Good, and push it back. And then release those arms down. Notice the sensations. And to relax the arms, just circle the shoulders. So let's do a couple of twists here. We'll start um, with the right arm, stretch it out. Bring that palm to your left knee, left hand to the chair. So always we lengthen on the in-breath and twist on the out-breath. Nice gentle position with the neck. You can cross the left leg over the right here if you choose. Nice deep breaths. Notice where your thoughts go. Stay in the moment. Good. Breathing in, bring it back to center. So let's go into our figure four stretch from here. So you can adjust your leg position by crossing at the ankle, crossing at the knee. I'm gonna place my ankle up on top of the thigh. So pressing down on the knee, up on the foot, folding forward if you like. Just the right amount of stretch. What does your body ask for this morning? Nice broad shoulders in the back. Nice easy breath. Great, and let's breathe it back to center. And keeping your feet in whatever position they're in, we're gonna add a twist here. So I'm gonna bring my right hand to my left knee and twist to the left. Next breath in brings you back around to the front. And we'll go to the other side. Left arm reaches out, nice and active. Bring that palm to the right knee, right hand to the chair. Breathing steadily. Good. I'm gonna cross my right knee over the left. Feel free to join me if you like. Great, breath in, guides you back around. And let's go to the figure four stretch on this side with a twist. So choosing the position that works best for you, pressing down on the knee, up on the foot, just sitting up nice and tall. You're gonna feel a deeper stretch. Good, leaning forward. The forward lean is certainly an option, which you can include or not. Relaxed neck, relaxed breath. Breathing in, we'll bring ourselves up out of the fold. Bring your left palm to your right knee and twist to the right. Good, breathe it back to center, uncross, and just take a couple of breaths. Ready for some standing work? Here we go. 
So let's begin on the left side of the chair. We'll, get, we'll begin with the leg lifts. I always like to do those because they are so uh, strengthening. And remember, if you uh, have difficulty lifting the foot, you can always just slide the toe forward and slide it back, slide it out to the side and back and to the back. So don't worry about lifting, not lifting. That's absolutely fine. So strengthening, but softening that supporting leg. We'll begin with leg lifts with the left leg. Here we go. Lifting and lowering. Upper body stays quiet. And three and four and five. Let's go to the side. Once, twice, three times, four, last one. And to the back, one. Two, three, four, five. Good. And release. And you can jiggle your legs a little bit if they need to uh, stretch out. And we'll go into warrior one and warrior two. And when they talk about warrior pose in Sanskrit, it's named after Virabanda, who was a very, very famous warrior. And he was so powerful his presence was so powerful that he never actually had to fight. He could defeat his enemies just by taking a stand. So let's think about that. So we're gonna be stepping forward um, with the right foot. You can hold on to the chair or not. I'm gonna step slightly back behind the chair. Take a breath in and step the right foot forward. Ha, good. Be very powerful in your warrior pose. So you can release the chair. You can add your arms out to the side or overhead. You can even sweep the arms around behind your back and squeeze the shoulders to open your heart. Feel your inner power, your inner strength. Good. So keeping the feet right where they are, we're gonna add the arms for warrior two. Right arm comes in front, left arm comes behind. Little bit of a bend in that forward knee. Good, and breathe. Powerful, powerful pose. Let's do one more breath. Good, so now we're gonna reverse our warrior. We're gonna drop the hands down, take your left hand, and bring it to the back of your left thigh. Good, raise your right arm up and do a little back bend. Make sure you're breathing. and let it go. Good, and step the feet together. Good, let's go to the other side. Okay, so we're gonna start with the leg lifts and it'll be the outside leg, which is your right leg. Here we go, to the front and back. And two, and three, and four and five. Remember the upper body stays very, very quiet to the side. And two and three and four and five. Let's go back once, twice, three times and four times. You should feel this all the way up to your glutes and five times and relax and breathe. Good. So stepping back just a, a little bit because you're gonna be stepping forward. Hand can be on the chair or hand can be on your hips. You're gonna be stepping forward with your left foot. And when you plant your foot, let the breath go with a sound, that ha sound that helps put you in touch with your power center. Here we go, deep breath in, 
step forward. Ha, good, plant the foot, square your hips. You can release the chair, add your arms. Even if you just add one arm, that's fine too. Doesn't have to be both. Again, if you wanna try sweeping the arms around behind your back, drawing the shoulder blades together. Nice deep breaths. Flatten those feet into the floor. Great. Let's get ready for warrior two. So feet stay right where they are. Left arm sweeps front, right arm back. A Little bit of a deeper bend in the forward knee. Gaze is out over your left fingertips and the breath. Good. So lowering your right hand down to the back of your right thigh, left arm sweeps up and over, a little bit of a back bend, reverse warrior. Deep breath. Good. And let that go. Step your feet together. Take just a couple of breaths. So I'm going to give myself a little space here because I'm going to just swing my arms. I'm wearing my crazy leggings today. I feel like laughing. Good. So just letting those arms swing, letting your feet Shift the weight from side to side. Good. And then gradually bring that to stillness. Good. So we're going to do the moon salutation standing up this time. And it's up to you um, if you want to use the chair for support or if you're just going to freestyle it on your own. You can always keep one hand on the chair and do the movements with just one arm. It's perfectly fine. So finding a nice steady standing position, hands at heart center to begin. And you can also repeat it seated if that works best for you. Let's sweep the arms up and reach up to the sky. Good. Breathe in and exhale to the right. Remember, you can always keep one hand on the back of the chair. Opening up the side ribs, making lots of space. Breathe it up and exhale to the other side. Up through center, getting ready for the back bend, remembering to adjust your arm position if you need to. Reach it back. Hips are coming a little bit forward as your arms reach back. Taking your breath in, and we're going to fold forward here. So, again, you can keep one hand on the chair. Come all the way down. Relax when your fingers are down. Head is relaxed. Arms are relaxed. Let's re-engage the arms now. And come all the way up. Reach it back. Take your breath in and half moon to the left. And half moon to the right. Bring it back to center and pause for just a few breaths at your heart space. So we've done these before and they're kind of fun. Um, they're not jumping jacks, they're called standing jacks. 
So the way we begin is to step out, bring the palms together, bring the arms down, step out with the other foot and bring the arms down. So nice, steady breath, ah, exhaling, exhaling, inhaling to center. See if you can pick up the pace a little bit. Only if you feel steady. A couple more. Better than a coffee break. And step out and just pause. Let your fingertips lift. Press your soles of your feet into the floor. Fill your body with breath. Great, one more breath here and exhale, slowly lower the arms, good. So let's come back to the side of the chair and we'll do um, the both versions of the tree pose where we're standing on the floor and then one where the foot comes up on the chair. So shift your weight to your right foot, leg closest to the chair, choose a position that works for your left foot can be up a little higher if you like. I'm gonna keep it on the floor. One hand or two, or your branches. Oh, and those beautiful trees are flowering now. So lovely. Breathe. Notice the little wiggles and wobbles your body is making to maintain balance. It's all good. One more breath here, and then exhale, lower down. Release the foot and release any negative judgments that are coming up about doing balance poses. So let's go to the other version. So my weight is gonna be now on my left leg and I'm gonna pick the right foot up and bring it up to the chair. Holding on if you like or not. And breathe. Nice, steady breath. Great. Inhale and exhale. Lower it down. Release the foot. So we'll go to the other, other side. But while we're going across, we're going to do some more of those standing jacks. So here we go. Just a few more, just between sides. <sighs> Let the breath go through your mouth with a sound. Ha. Ha. Pick up the pace. Ha. 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 Ooh. Very energizing. Either that or we're all going to be ready for a nap later, one or the other. It's all good. Let's go to the other side. So getting ready for tree pose, strengthening that supporting leg, softening the knee. Move that knee out to the side to open your hips. And build your branches. Draw the arms back. And again, if your shoulders are tight, feel free to open the arms in a nice wide V. Perfectly fine. The most important thing is to focus on the breath. Gaze is quiet and steady. Good, inhale and exhale, arms come down, foot releases. Take a breath. So we'll get ready for our other version of the tree. So the right leg is going to be supporting us. And I'm going to place my left foot up on the chair. So take the opportunity to move that knee back. Feel the opening you get in the inner thighs. One hand or two. 
for the branches. In a position that allows you to have an ease of breath. If you're struggling for your breath, you're too far into the pose. Just back out slightly. Good, one more breath in and exhale, lower the arms, gently release the foot and take a breath. So we're gonna finish up with uh, a devotional pose that's called the sky gazer. And we've done it before, um, we're going to do it again. So it's a standing pose. It's a little bit tricky to adapt to seated um, but you can do the arm movements. You can sit down and just do the arm movements if you're a little unsteady with your balance. So here's what we're gonna do with our arms. The intention is to open the heart in the front of the body. So you've got a lot of choices. Hands can be at the hips. So you can draw the elbows back. You can hold on to opposite elbows or you can do what's known as reverse prayer position, where the hands come in prayer position between the shoulder blades. And that's how I'm going to move from, okay? So let's take a breath in and take a step forward on your right foot and just gently shift your weight from foot to foot if you're standing. Also, you can do it standing and just hold on to the chair with one hand. Great. So centering yourself, sinking down into the floor. As you exhale, slowly lift your head, draw the elbows back and move the heart forward. Good, breathe it back to center. Now let's take a walking step forward with the other foot, just a small step, a little forward and back rock. Great, sink it down. Good, soften those knees and look up as you breathe in and open wide your heart. Breathe it back to center. Step your feet together. Release your arms and bring them back to heart center. Take a few breaths. And take a seat. Nicely done, everybody. So just allowing your eyes to close. And if you want, just placing your hands on top of your heart center and envisioning the heart center as they do in yoga as the heart chakra, Anjali Mudra. It's the center of love and joy, compassion, sadness and loss. It's also the center of healing in the body. So you can allow that heart light to expand, sending it out in any direction, to any part of your body that's in need of a little TLC. Imagining that beautiful light filling the core of your body, easing the body and the mind.
feeling a sense of gratitude for the body, the breath, and our practice together. And then as you breathe in, opening your eyes and extending your palms forward, sending your heart energy out into the world. Hands to prayer position. We'll close our practice with an om. Deep breath in. Om. Om Shanti, peace. May all beings everywhere know peace. Namaste, Jai Bhagwan. <laughs>